And look at that, we are recording. What's up guys and welcome back to the hack spot now I've been getting many requests to make more Android related videos So I thought okay, but guys Please do understand that not every iOS hack is available on Android and the same thing does go vice versa But today I thought I'd share with you guys my top two favorite screen recorders for Android I've never made a video on this. So I thought now is a chance. All right So I am an iOS user So this would not surprise you that this is one of my favorites So the cool thing about Android is that these are available inside the Play Store because they do allow it so anyways, let's go to open this up and here it is guys. This is the first one air show screen recorder Let's go and search for air show and this should be the first or second one screen recorder Make sure you download that one not this one. It's a screen recorder right there So all you do is tap on install of course and just hit on accept It'll be pretty quick and now it's already installing. So there you go guys Let's go to open up this app and it is pretty simple to use, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make it so that the videos go straight to your camera roll as well. So I'm just gonna click on don't show this again, and let's click on start now. So first off, you can tap on video format and choose whatever whichever one you want. So there are a ton. I like to choose MP4, that's my favorite. And they can choose the orientation, so landscape like this, portrait like this. So if you are doing a landscape game, it's good to keep it on landscape or keep it on auto if you want to do that. I'm just going to put it at auto. You can also change the resolution. So I'm going to put it at the highest, which is 1080p. Let's get the best quality. And you can also change the bitrate as well. I'm just going to leave it at 8 and hit cancel. Now, the last part I want to cover is the settings. So if you tap on the settings again on the top right here, you'll be brought to a new page. And you can also show the touches. So every time you touch on the screen, you guys will see that there's a little dot. You guys can't really see right now, but over here, you'll probably be able to see, see that little dot, which is really cool. So people can see where you're tapping. A great little feature. Let's go back to AirShow. And you can change all this too. You can enable full screen. You can also change the mic source if you have one. But you can put it to mute or mic, whatever you want. And now here's how you change where it puts it to the camera roll. So what I want you guys to do is tap right over here. And then what, what you want to do is tap on this little up arrow until you go all the way to the beginning. It just has one slash. So now what you want to do is scroll down and look for SD card. So there it is, SD card. And now what you want to search for is DCIM. Now this is not in alphabetical order. So it's not next to data. So it's not there. It should be somewhere over here, and let me show you guys that it's not in alphabetical order. So it goes A, D, D, K, M, so there it is, DCIM, and you click on camera, and this is what you want it to look like. So you got SD card, DCIM, camera. So that's how you know you're good to go. Let's click on OK, and it will show up right there too. Now let's go back, and let's get a recording started. So all you do is tap on record screen, and boom, it's as simple as that. You can turn up and down the volume. And again, it will show your touches, which I do like. That's a great feature. Let's go to open up, let's say, a game, Real Racing. And it does have a little recording icon on the top left. There's no red banners or anything like that. So this is very cool. And I'm just talking right here. Let's go and just play. You can go and record all your gameplays, all that good stuff. All right, and here we go. Let's go and change the camera view. I don't like that one. And look at that. We are recording. Very cool stuff. Now you want to stop recording, get X out of here. And you can either go ahead and pull this down right here and click on stop right there or the pause button. Or you can go ahead and open up the AirShot application and you can go ahead and hit stop. Now it does show you how long you recorded for. Same thing goes for right there. So 53 seconds so far. Click on stop. And that is basically it. So there you go. It's saved to that directory that we just made. So let's go to our gallery and let's go ahead and swipe over. Now you can keep it the directory the same. Um, so click on play, play. Okay, I'm not sure why it's so small. So there you go, guys. I guys see it does record. Now make sure you do select landscape or portrait. Otherwise, the screen may turn out a bit smaller. So I put it on auto. So that's why it's kind of a little bit weird. But I just want to show you guys this. So that is Air Shout. Now the second one I really want to show you guys is called just Wreck. So let's go over here. And you guys have probably heard of this one. But it is absolutely fantastic. And also if you install Air Shout, you can get this little dot feature for free because it just puts it on and as you guys see air shout is not recording but i still do have that and it does support multi touch so that's pretty cool so it's nice to have both installed so let's go back to the play store and click on screen rec screen recorder install and accept so of course for both of these no root is required let's go to open this up and you guys will see how this one works too this one's pretty simple too so automatically it chooses the size but you can change that if you want to the bit rate you can choose the duration i would really put this to the highest you can because otherwise it will stop you from recording. So let's put that to the max. You can enable the audio. And um, by default, it's set to put to your camera roll. So yeah, let's go tap on record. Let's see how this one works. And start now. And now it is we're going to record in this time. So this is pretty cool too. So you can just get your app ready and open. And in that 10 seconds, it will start recording. So 
It's going to start now, and now we're recording again because of Air Shao. We still do have these like little touch little bubbles, and now you can go ahead and use our device. Let's go back into the application. There it is. Stop. Of course, there are some advertisements in this free version. So now let's go back into our gallery, and there is our new screen recording. So you can go ahead and tap on it. Take a look at this, guys. Cool. Oh, and by the way, of course, just by giving me a tap, it could share wherever you want. Just tap on share. You could just upload it to Gmail. Just put it wherever you want. Send it to your drive. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely be sure to hit that like button. Stay tuned for tons more exciting content. My name's The Hackspot. I'll catch you guys real soon in my next video. Peace out. I feel paralyzed.